Hi, my name is Dr. Matthew Gornick, and today I'm going to explain to you a procedure that we commonly do in our office, the placement of a rapid palatal expander, also known as an RPE. An expander can be used to correct a crossbite, meaning the upper jaw and palate are too narrow and the upper teeth fit inside of the lower teeth instead of outside of the lower teeth. The expander can also be used to create more space in the dental arch, making more room for the eruption of the adult teeth. When you come in for the expander insertion appointment, the patient manager is first going to clean the teeth with pumice. This is just a gentle wheel to clean all of the plaque and food debris off of the teeth. Next, an etching is used to remove a layer of microfilm from the surface of the teeth and to prepare the teeth for the sealant. A fluoride releasing sealant is then placed on the teeth to help protect the teeth from plaque, bacteria, and cavities during the six months the expander will be in the mouth. After the patient manager removes the excess sealant, the orthodontist will come to the chair. Hey Sean. Wow, you're doing a really good job staying open nice and wide. The orthodontist is going to make sure that everything looks good. He will place the tooth dryer on the teeth and suction any excess saliva. Once the teeth are dry and the patient is opened wide, the patient manager will mix up the tooth adhesive. She will then hand the expander to the orthodontist and the orthodontist will insert the expander into the patient's mouth. Next, the patient will bite down onto cotton bite balls. Really hard. This helps hard snap the expander nice into place. The patient manager will clean the excess adhesive. Once the excess adhesive is removed and it has fully cured or hardened, the patient can go to the sink and rinse. The orthodontist will do a final check of the expander. He will make sure that the adhesive was removed in a way that allows the patient to maintain proper oral hygiene. He will also ensure that the patient is biting evenly and that the expander is comfortable. The patient manager will go through all the instructions with the patient and parent, including foods to avoid and how to keep the expander clean. We went over um, the hygiene and the diet, and I just want to talk to you about speech. So their speech, they sound a little bit unlike themselves. The more they talk and get back to their regular activities, the more they'll start sounding more and more like themselves. These instructions are also included in an informational packet. The placement of a rapid palo expander takes approximately one hour. After the procedure is completed, the patient can return to school and does not have to wait a set amount of time before eating. I hope this video answers any questions that you have about the insertion of a rapid palatal expander and helps ease any anxiety you have about the procedure. If you have any further questions or concerns, please contact us at the office.